Top 5 Best presents How to Charge Your Phone Instantly Life Hacks If keeping your smartphone charged is a challenge in everyday life, it's worse when you're traveling. Very long days in transit or out exploring a city will make that battery icon start flashing before you know it, especially when you're relying on your phone for navigation, pictures, video, entertainment, and more. And you've usually only got a few valuable minutes to get some juice in it, a short layover, coffee break in a cafe, or a quick return to the hotel room to freshen up before you're out of reach of a charging cable for another few hours. Here are five hacks for getting more charge in your phone when you're short on time. Number five, car chargers. In case of an emergency, your car is always a great place to find very quick electricity. If you're trapped with no power in the house, your car is probably one of the only places that will be completely unaffected, unless you have a fully electric car. But if you have a car charger for your cell phone or a pre-installed dock, you can charge your phone for as long as your car's battery can handle. It's usually advised to keep your car running while you charge charge your phone, since the motor helps keep the car's battery charged. If you're in an enclosed area or garage, make sure to open a window or door to keep yourself from breathing in the fumes. No point in charging your battery if you're not going to be around to use it. Number 4. Backup Battery In many situations, a car charger is all you'll need. But what if a car isn't available? Is that a fuel or battery? Or you don't want to waste gas on charging a phone? That's where a backup battery comes in. These products are very large batteries with ports for connecting phones or other USB devices. Those designed to charge smartphones are usually not that big, so they're easy to store in a drawer or backpack. And while not cheap, batteries large enough to fully charge two phones can be purchased for just under 40 bucks. A backup battery is a temporary solution, though. Eventually, it too will run out of charge, so you'll be left back at square one. Batteries also lose charge over time, even when not in use, and can be damaged by extreme temperatures. Number 3. Solar Charger Unlike the first two options, a solar charger fully solves the problem. You could theoretically use a phone indefinitely without access to central power if you have a solar charger. All that is required is access to the sun, and even a moderately overcast day will produce enough energy to charge your phone. Size can be an issue, however. While pocket-sized chargers are sold, they don't work very well. A larger folding charger is needed for very reliable power. Cost can be an issue too because large panels sell for between $100 and $200 online. Still, no other option can match the versatility and reliability of solar. Number 2. Use Pronto Battery Certain portable battery packs can charge much faster than the smartphone or tablet you'll be connecting them to. The Pronto Battery, for instance, boasts of being able to fully recharge an iPhone after being plugged into the wall for just 5 to 15 minutes, depending on the model. If you leave it connected for one hour, it'll have a enough juice to charge that same iPhone between three and nine times. Just plug the battery into the wall while you're waiting to board or taking a shower. Then slip it into your pocket and charge your phone once you're on the move again. Before we get to number one on our list, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to Top 5 Best. Number 1. Charge your phone with body electricity Now here's an impending life hack. Whenever you're forced to face a situation where your phone battery has hit its rock bottom and there is no source of power around you, all you need is your own body to recharge your batteries. Yes, your own power is sufficient enough to charge your batteries. Now how is that possible? You can charge your phone using your body electricity by making a capacitor using items commonly found in your pocket. You need two two silver coins, a paper clip, a piece of paper, your charging cable, and of course your phone. Now the electricity from your body is stored in the capacitor and then sent to the phone to charge. The coins act as two plates of a capacitor and the air gap in the paper act as the insulator. The paper clip is to connect the inside of your USB connector to the outer plate of the capacitor.